Engines full power. And lift off Falcon 9. Go Axiom. One Alpha. <laughs> Copy, one Alpha. Together we expand what Two is possible in reach. low Earth orbit. Ad Astra and Godspeed Take AX2. Plus 36 second, 36 seconds into flight. A great view of Falcon 9 heading to space. Power telemetry is nominal. A Stage great one call. Down. Power telemetry nominal. We're into the throttle bucket. Is the first stage is throttle down power on the Merlin engines in preparation for max Q. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Faster than the speed of sound as we're getting great views from the first stage camera looking back at Kennedy Space Center in Complex 39A. Stage one throttle up. Max Q. We're out of the throttle bucket. Stage one Bravo. Copy, one Bravo. We're at full power and that call out one Bravo, that's another one of those abort modes. As we get higher and faster, the logic for Dragon should a contingency occur changes from stage to stage. Attack chill is underway. Chill announcement says we're getting the turbo pump on the second stage engine cooled down in preparation for its light up coming up in just another minute from now. Again, great views looking back and you can see the contrail as we left 39A and the, uh, the shadow of the contrail against the cloud deck around Florida. Now we're coming up, three big sequences and a view live of the crew inside Dragon. They're getting ready. We're going to get three events here, main engine cutoff, stage separation, and then we're going to light the second stage engine. We've heard the throttle down in preparation for stage separation. Eco. Two Alpha. Stage separation confirmed. Copy, two alpha. And back ignition. Stage one, boost back start up. All right, stage separation. We've lit the second stage engine. The first stage is into the boost back burn, working its way back towards Cape Canaveral. Use on the left side, that's the first stage. Engine's running as we come back to the launch site, or the landing site. Second stage engine nozzle is visible on the right side as we're powering the Axiom 2 crew into low Earth orbit on the way to the International Space Station. Waiting for call out that the boost back burn is complete. Stage one, boost back shut down. Right on time, first stage completed the first of three burns, heading back to the landing site. Second stage continuing on power and on trajectory. Acquisition signal, Bermuda. We head northeast, the Bermuda ground station. Dragon, SpaceX, trajectory nominal. Bermuda is listening in to the vehicle Happy now. Nominal trajectory. And the crew hears the call out of a nominal trajectory. So four minutes into flight, everything continuing to go well, first stage heading back, and there's the crew on the second stage getting the ride into orbit to the space station. Coming up, we're waiting for the next trajectory call out from the guidance officer. Dragon, SpaceX, trajectory nominal. Ah, uh, love to hear those words. A nominal trajectory for Dragon. Copy, nominal trajectory. 
and maybe even a little bit of excitement in the crew's voice. Commander Peggy Whitson calling back down, hearing that call out from GNC of a nominal trajectory. Left side of the screen, you can see the first stage. It's now beginning to orient itself so that the engines are pointed down towards the land as we will be descending towards landing zone one in Cape Canaveral. The four titanium grid fins have all deployed. They'll help guide the, they'll guide the first stage through the, once we get into the atmosphere following the entry burn, which will be coming up here in another couple of minutes. On the right hand side, the second stage with the dragon capsule on top, Heading up the eastern seaboard of the U.S., we've just heard the call out of Boston. That's the New Hampshire tracking station has picked up the signal. Dragon SpaceX trajectory nominal. GNC continuing to make those call outs that we want to hear. Everything trajectory continuing nominal. to look good. And the crew echoing them right back down. Good comms with the crew. We've been able to bring some uh, live video shots from inside the capsule as they're headed to space. And there's another view of the crew. Stage one entry burn startup. And there we heard that the startup burn for that stage one booster, you can see it there on the left hand side of your screen, has now begun. Stage one entry burn shutdown. And conclusion of that entry burn, that burn helps to uh, slow the vehicle down as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. The first, day, the first stage sees high drag, which scrubs roughly 70% of the velocity by the time Dragon that that landing. Dragon SpaceX, trajectory nominal. Love to hear that call out. Everything nominal trajectory. Beautiful view of planet Earth coming to us from the second stage views on the right-hand side. Left-hand side, our first view of the Space Coast once again. This booster is attempting a landing at LZ-1. Stage one, transonic. That booster is now traveling near the speed of sound. Live view coming to you from one of our tracking cameras. We can see the grid fins actuating to help steer the booster down. Stage one, landing burn. Stage two, FTS has saved. Standing by to... Stage one, landing leg deploy. There you stage can one, landing confirmed. You can see that first stage has landed back at LZ-1. This is the first time that we have performed a land landing on a crew mission. Coming up... Coming up next will be second engine cutoff, or SECO, and that's where after, after that engine cuts off, second stage will coast for a few minutes until Dragon is commanded to separate. Stage two is in terminal guidance. We're expecting SECO to occur terminal in about guidance. 20 seconds. Shannon. Copy, Shannon. Commander Peggy Whitson continuing to call out the abort modes. Pico. All right, on time shutdown of that second engine. Also confirming that the launch escape system is now disarmed. Dragon SpaceX, nominal orbit insertion. All right, and there's that call out. We can confirm good orbital insertion. Copy, nominal insertion. Dragon SpaceX launch escape system disarmed. We can see the crew playing with their Dragon harnesses. Copy. Now that they are in zero G, which I think we just got a view of our zero G stuffy. Clearly the crew is having fun already. <clears throat> right after liftoff, I think we heard a laugh coming from Commander Peggy Whitson, which being a NASA legend and one of the most decorated astronauts of all time, uh, it's amazing to hear that even a space veteran as she still has fun at liftoff.
The next event that we have coming up at just around T plus 12 minutes is Dragon Separation. That's where the Dragon spacecraft and trunk, so collectively referred to as the Dragon spacecraft, will separate from the second stage. <clears throat> Acquisition signal, we've been After that separation, uh, we will begin to deploy the nose cone, which exposes the forward bulkhead thrusters as well as the forward hatch. That forward hatch is what the capsule utilizes to autonomously dock to the International Space Station. Going from left to right, <laughs> everyone's having fun, clearly. <laughs> we have mission specialist Rayana Barnawi. To the right of her is pilot John Schaffner. Then we have Commander Peggy Whitson. And on the far right, Mission Specialist Ali Alkarni. We can see that the excess strap um, on some of the harnesses, as well as the writing utensil for their tablets, uh, they continue to play around with as they <laughs> are experiencing zero G for the first time, at least we can say that, for three of the four astronauts on board today. Now we are standing by for Dragon Separation, which is expected to occur in the next few seconds. Dragon Separation. Wow. And there you can see <laughs> live on your screen that Dragon, dragon Trunk and Capsule. That's a really cool view. That's actually very great flight. Uh, wish you safe travels. A few words from our chief engineer as well. Thanks for putting your trust in the Falcon 9 team. Hope you enjoyed the ride to space. Have a great trip on Dragon. Welcome home to zero G, Peggy. That was SpaceX chief engineer Bill <laughs> Gerson. Good to be there. here. This is, it was a phenomenal ride. Make sure you share the joy of zero G with your crew. We will do that. Already you can see Dragon's Draco thrusters activating. Dragon SpaceX, nominal dehumidifier activation and service section Draco checkouts. Nose cone deploy is in progress. Hooks are opening. Dragon copies. All right, great news there to let us know that the hooks, there are two Dragon sets of hooks. Signal Bermuda. Two sets of hooks that are now disengaging. And once that is complete, we are able to deploy, uh, open the nose cone. We should see that nose cone deploy in about a minute. It's a great view on the right-hand side of your screen from the Falcon 9 second stage looking at the Dragon Freedom capsule. And of course, the crew on the left-hand side playfully uh, acclimating to their new zero-g environment. You can see the zero G indicator uh, in the background. And I love this view. This view is over the shoulders of Commander Peggy Whitson, who here is on the left hand side, or the left seat, and uh, pilot John Schaffner is on the right seat here, looking at what they're looking at. This, these are the, the crew display panels that they utilize in flight uh, to track which thrusters are firing, what phase of the mission that they are in, as you can see, where they are around the globe.
All right, as we can see, crew getting acclimated. The uh, nose cone hooks are in the process of being disengaged, so they are starting to open. Um, and once those, uh, that is complete, we are able to open the nose cone and expose the forward hatch. So incredible. <laughs> Well, today's launch is certainly one more for the history books, and yet the story is just getting underway. Leah, with the crew officially on their way to the International Space Station, how are things tracking there in mission control at Johnson Space Center? Hey Duke, well the chase has officially begun with Dragon uh, heading toward the International Space Station. So with successful launch of Axiom Mission 2 at 37 p.m. Eastern, the teams here at NASA's Johnson Space Center are going to be monitoring Dragon's flight to the International Space Station over the next 16 hours. Our role in this journey really kicks in at a period called Integrated Operations. This is where Dragon is much closer to the station. And at this point, NASA, SpaceX, and Axiom Space teams are all in lockstep to get the crew safely docked. The teams here are preparing for a docking of AX2 to the station at about 9.30 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow. We're going to be jo begin joint coverage of that phase at 7.30 a.m. Eastern time. But for now, that'll be it for us in Mission Control Houston tonight, and I'll be back with you tomorrow for docking. Back to you, Kate and Duke. Yeah. Now, over the next 16 hours, Dragon will execute a series of burns to gradually raise and line up the AX-2 crew for docking International Space Station in what we refer to as activation and rendezvous phase of the mission. Now, in just a few minutes, the crew will get, the cha get to change out of their spacesuits and get a little bit more comfortable for flight and will enjoy their first meal aboard the spacecraft. I'm sure that'll be a lot of fun the first time for three of them eating in microgravity. <laughs> and then... At 2 p.m. Pacific, they will get ready for a rest period that will last about 10 hours, eight hours for actual sleeping, and a couple hours for pre- and post-sleep activities. And then before they arrive at the station, we'll have two potential opportunities to chat briefly with the crew on orbit. Uh, one later this morning around 11, 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific and one early tomorrow about 10, uh, 12, 10 a.m. Pacific. While we're hopeful that one of these will work out, neither opportunity is guaranteed as they are dependent on both crew schedule and ground station coverage. But if we're able to support, we'll make an announcement on our social media channels no later than 15 minutes before the event start time. But in the meantime, be sure to keep tabs on the mission at axiomspace.com, and you can also keep track of Dragon's flight on spacex.com slash launches. And even if we aren't able to talk live with the crew, we will continue to provide updates on the mission across our social media channels. And starting at 7.30 a.m. Eastern, 4.30 a.m. Pacific on Monday, May 22nd, we will pick back up with our live joint coverage of the AX2 crew's approach and docking to station with NASA. Please keep an eye on Axiom and SpaceX social channels for updates, as there will be plenty of incredible moments to share with you over the next 10 days. And so from all of us at Axiom Space, thank you, SpaceX. Thank you, NASA. This is just the beginning. And thank you for tuning in. We hope to see you soon.